Hey guys, Shani back with another video for the December scrap party. So today I am going to show you um, the rest of the stuff that I got during Black Friday with all the sales and everything. Um, I already showed you the paper issues order that I got and um, that will have already been posted. So if you want to see that. It's in there. It was kind of longer because I got a lot of stuff from there, a lot of paper. So I did it, I broke it up with that and the other stuff that I'm showing you. And then I'm going to show you what I've gotten so far. And I still have a couple th more things that are coming, I think, on Monday. So whenever those get here, I'll do another little process video and just tack it onto this video. So it'll just be one video. But anyways, so I'm going to show you what I've got so far. My first thing is from scrapbook.com and what I did was I, I did two purchases, two orders from them because I ordered some stuff that I wanted or wanted to try and that was already discounted and um, I got a free item because scrapbook.com is doing like a free item every day. I don't know if it was just for the first 12 days of, of December or if it's for the whole month of December. But, um, so I got a free item. So what I got was, this was my free item. It's the scrapbook.com sampler, adhesive sampler pack. So it's got, um, a really skinny, um, peel and stick double-sided tape. A sheet of double-sided ad adhesive like that. It's like a whole solid sheet. There's the tape. It's super, super skinny, like eighth inch tape which is kind of cool and then some foam dots so and if you order I think it's like fewer than 10 items you're it's like the first 10 items the shipping is so much and then the next amount of items is more so I just did whatever I think it's like 10 items as long as you stay under 10 items then your shipping's like 350 or 450 or something so I just stayed under that amount of items so Adding that didn't add on to my shipping at all. So this paper, it's like a little paper pack um, from Photoplay. And it's just a nice solid on one side and a light, subtle texture on the other. Those are little plus signs. That one was little polka dots. Um, and I just thought these would be great background papers. This is teeny tiny little stripes. There you go. And I think that was... Three dollars, two fifty, maybe. I don't remember exactly. It wasn't very much. So I got that and that. Um, and then I got. Sorry, all the crinkling sounds. These are individual sheets of paper that I got, and it was just packaged that way to keep it safe. So I got this is Pirate Tales from Echo Park. I just love. I thought that was cute, but I just love that mustardy citron -y color. I thought that could be fun um, with the scallops. And then I got, this is also from the same collection. There's little critters on the other side, but I love that for a background. I'll probably do it that way, but I just thought that was really pretty. This one's really pretty, and it's um, Our House from Cartabella. I just love that side for a background, and it's that nice like watercolor paper kind of texture. And then these are the scrapbook.com custom pages. And they're just wood grain, but they're like shiny, which is kind of neat. I don't know. I just love, I'm obsessed with wood grain right now. So it's just all about that. Um, and then this is wood grain as well, but it's a nice turquoise and white washed from Ruminance. It goes this way, I guess. Um, and it's blank on the back. And then this was a really really cheap clearance paper I had an idea for this but I can't remember what it is now but basically I was gonna end up covering this so I just really got it for that and it was it ended up being like 35 cents or something it was super super cheap it's really thin paper it's not cardstock too so that'll be something you want to layer over something so that is oh and then in that same order I also got a distress oxide spray which I've never used um the distress oxide sprays so i'm interested to see but if the distress oxide pads 
ink pads are really awesome because they're kind of kind of dye kind of pigment so they soak into your paper and they dry super fast but the pigment is super super vivid and opaque so you can do it even over dark colors and it still is very vibrant so I'm hoping that this is the same so that nice light pink might go over like a dark wood grain and it'll still show up light pink so that's my fingers crossed item uh, and then my second scrapbook.com order I ordered because I'm obsessed with these sparklets little shaker packs there's like little rhinestones I don't know if you can see oh sorry there we go there's like little rhinestones and uh, sequins and like pearls all sorts of little things in there there's the pink one I got and that's what I'm like super super obsessed with right now on my pages I like to use them because they're really pretty kind of scattered I don't have any right around me but um if you go back and watch some of my videos that I've already posted for the December series um, I've used some and they're just pretty because you can kind of scatter them I don't know I just love it so I had to order those and then this was the free item that day so I wanted those I was looking at them but when I saw this was the free item I got it so <laughs> I think all together with shipping and tax and everything it was less than ten dollars so and these are worth I think they're retail more than ten dollars like thirteen dollars maybe for a pack so it was a really good deal um I've not used these but again I think they're gonna be really fun and kind of vibrant and I'm trying to do more mixed media on my pages and just stretch some stuff and I love um if you don't watch Missy Wooden's videos you've got to you've got to look her up she designs for hip kit clubs and I think her YouTube channel is not really working right now but if you go to hip kit clubs YouTube channel you can watch some of her older videos or her current videos as well and she is awesome first of all in general she's just awesome but um she uses mixed media in ways that you would never think and especially for stuff that you wouldn't normally use on a layout and she'll use it mixed media to turn it into something that she really loves and it works out really great on her videos I mean on her layouts so I'm trying to get into more mixed media sorry that was a long tangent more mixed media so next the next order I've got is from oh sorry I was gonna show you the address I don't need to do that rip that off okay the next order I've got right here is from humble and create and she I've followed her other account for a long time on Instagram because she designs digital scrapbook kits and they're really awesome especially like the journaling cards and kind of things and you could use them as digital supplies or print them and use them hybrid but um, I just recently found out from Whimsy Fox which if you don't follow Iris she's awesome too um, and she's on YouTube and Instagram and all that um, I found out from her that she does not Iris but um, Humble and Create does these flare buttons so I had to get on there and she was having a really really good deal so sale over Black Friday so I ordered a bunch <laughs> I'm like super into flare right now I've I've kind of got a little bit of a problem um so these were some freebies that came um in my little set so joy mug vibes Christmas chaos happy holidays haha -ha. so those are just some cute little pieces that I can use and then these are all the badges I got and her badges coordinate I don't know if all of them coordinate with a collection but her badges coordinate with her paper her digital collections on her other account so there's those little guys I love those little plus signs are my favorite these guys are just random um, some of them I got specifically to use in my Christmas album and some I just got just to use because I don't have a lot I have a lot of Christmas ones now because I can't stop ordering them but I don't have a lot of everyday normal ones so after Christmas is over 
So I got all of these. Loving right now. Always, everyday you. Happy, selfie, snap. You and me equals love. And then these are just all like the textures, which I can use for Christmas or later, as well as these. I just love these little plus signs. So cute. And the little citron stripes. So those are fun. And then these are some more Christmas ones. And honestly, I really just got them because there's one in there that says cocoa. And I have really cute pictures of India drinking hot cocoa now from a couple weeks ago. So <laughs> I got those. These I got to put up for um, when I start our Colorado trip stuff. I thought those would be really cute. And they go really well with the colors of the other stuff that I've already picked. There's that. Yeah, I, I went a little too far. And then some Christmas ones. And I just love those little lights. Those are my favorite. Honestly, that's probably why I bought this set. But I like, I mean, all of them are good for Christmas, but like these guys I can use for other stuff that's not Christmas later. So I'm going to put these ones away. Keep these ones out in my Christmas stash. And these I'll keep in my Christmas stash if I don't drop everything everywhere. Okay. And then my last one that I have today is going to be Felicity Jane. And I've never ordered from Felicity Jane before. I think this is like um her the stuff from there is always really, really pretty and just super I've always heard good things, like very good quality and everything from Felicity Jane. It's just every time I've gone to order or sign up for the Kit Club or anything, I I think it's because I see the shipping costs and then I turn back and don't order. But the sale they were having um, over Black Friday was ridiculous and everything was super, super, super cheap. I wish I would have thought about it or known about it earlier in the day so I could have gotten more of what I I mean not more of what I wanted I got a lot of what I wanted but there was even more that I did want that was already sold out so and especially like last year's Christmas collections was on there too so um especially the paper pads the paper pads were already sold out or the paper packs so um this is what I got it's still a lot but um it was not very much money for how much stuff I got and how much Felicity Jane usually costs so but I thought it'd be really fun just to try it out and you get a cute little card and you can like use it as a, a journaling card or cut out and use little embellishments and then I got this little December kit and I'm not gonna open it I'll show you that the back side there's some little labels there's a December word cut out the little girls cute um, these little dots are like whole, what are they called? Whole reinforcers, which is awesome. They'll be cute for tags and stuff to make them a little more dimensional. And then there's little silver stars and I think hearts as well in there too. So that'll be fun. And these were like, I think they were $1.99 a piece maybe. And they're usually going to be like 5 or $6. I don't remember exactly, but they're usually... A lot more than that <laughs> so I was really excited there's another Christmas one I don't know when they're from year wise oh that's 2017 these are 2018 so these are from 2017 so these are from two years ago and they don't have the pictures on the back but you can see there's like gold foiled at least one word some more gold foil back in there um, some little banner pieces there's a nice black and white floral some of those pieces will be nice even um, not during Christmas, which is cool. And then I got these guys, which I thought these were just die cuts. I wasn't obviously reading. I was just clicking things and adding to cart and giving them all my money. But, um, <laughs> they are chipboard numbers. I thought they were die cuts, but they're chipboard. I just thought those were cute. I could use them for December, but they'll probably be really good for, um, like India's birthday or stuff like that and then these are little acetate pieces I think they're yeah they're all acetate pieces which is nice 
like something different. I don't have a lot of acetate in my collection, at, I mean on my stash at all, so I thought that could be kind of fun to incorporate a little bit, something different. And this is the Zoe die cuts. These are also from 2017, which is crazy. I can't believe they lasted till now. I mean, they have already sold in the last, um, any of the last sales, but they're just cute little die cuts and they're die cuts. I've never used them before, but they're super, super thick, like really, really like probably like three times as thick or four as regular die cuts. There's happy birthday. There's some little um, banner pieces. I love those little sequin kind of shaped looking ones. The little girl's cute with the little cupcake. There's that. These are the Jill um, die cuts. I love this girl. I've looked at her before and she has cute little short hair. And those are just cute. Some tags, some labels, just little bits and pieces. And then these are puffy sticker little border strips. I really just loved that one and this one especially, but I thought any of those would be kind of cute. Just a little something different because I don't have a lot of border pieces like that either, especially puffy stickers. So this one, I think it's an older one because, so sorry, that's really loud. It's an older one, I think, because it doesn't have this guy on it. Um, so I'll just show you these real quick. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I'll cut. Whenever you see this video, I will have cut it out. But my daughter came in and wanted to play balls, which is something I got for her party. Which is not going to be till March. So <laughs> I was trying to get her not to see it or look at it or want it. So this is a gift from the Jill collection, which is this one goes with that coordinates oh yeah you see the gray it matches um so and from what I've heard because I've never ordered before um all their paper is like a nice whatever pattern on one side and then on the other side is pretty neutral so you can kind of use it in whatever even if you don't like the other side or want to use it in a different collection later oh that's cute the little teeny tiny scallops um, oh. and then there's that the little hearts on the back I love that army green stars and then the little wavy signs and whenever I go through paper I always do it I always lay the paper down the way I think I'll use the paper so that when I flip through my stash I have my paper sitting where it sits straight up so I can kind of like thumb through really quickly um, so I'll just keep it where the side I think I'll most likely use or my favorite side is face up or face towards me so that that's what I see. There's that and that. Maybe that. And then this one kind of hurts my eyes. It's a nice skinny stripe. It's like the army green from this paper is what that is. It looks like it's kind of black but it's really army green. And then the cardstock is really nice. It's got like these little scallops across the bottom so you could use it. It's like the border strip so you could leave it solid and just cut your border strip across the top to make it 12 inches or you could cut this across and use it as a border strip. Right that. So that is the Jill Click collection of paper. And then this one, because these already have the papers on here, I'll just show you on here. There's a nice floral with the back is the hearts, the plaid with the back is the stripes, the bright stripes with the back is that black and white. So each one, the back side, the, the A side is the fun bright side, the B side is the nice neutral black and white kind of side. And then um, these are the colors of cardstock that come with it. It'll look like this, but it's those colors. And then same for this. It's like you've got all the bright, happy, fun colors with all the color, and then black and white B-sides for all of them. And then there's the colors. So this is the Denise paper pack, and this is the Elizabeth. So there is that. So, so far, that is all I've got for right now. 
Um, like I said, I think the rest of it is supposed to be here on Monday. I've not had the best of luck with the post office lately. I think there's some weather issues up north. Um, so whether it's actually here on Monday or not, I don't know. I mean, it won't make any difference for this video because it won't be coming out. You won't even know it's Monday, whenever this comes out. So, um, I'm going to stop the video and then whenever, but you keep watching because I'm not really stopping. I'm just, I'll tack the next video onto this one. <laughs> so you'll see what else I got later. So thank you so much for watching. Keep watching and you'll see more. Bye. Hey guys, Shadney back to finish out this video and I have already showed you the first part. This is the second part. Um, this is the rest of my Black Friday shopping that I've done. Um, so yeah, I just got it in. I mean, I didn't just get it in, but I've just finally gotten all of it in. So my first thing I got, and this is all I got from that shop, but I was searching sequins on Etsy and came across a sequin mix that had these little tiny wood veneer sequins in them and I've loved them and never been able to get any. So um, when I clicked over to her shop and was looking at all the different mixes, she had a pack that was just all these sequins. So I had to order those. So that's all I got from that shop. That's Planner Addict is the shop that I ordered those from on Etsy. So there's those. This is my Scrap and Happy Studio order. And I got a bunch from there because she was running a really good deal. These are all Target. Sorry, I didn't mess with these ahead of time. There's Target ones. There's some little Halloween ones. They're fun, bright colors. Um, there is some Explore stuff that I want to use for um, our Colorado. Sorry, I'm saying I'm a lot. Stuff I want to use for our Colorado pages or album whenever I start that in January or February maybe. Um, so a bunch of little guys. And these are like flare, but without all the heavy metal stuff in the back. They're just um, like big enamel dots pretty much. And you can uh, stick them down with liquid, liquid glue, um, tape runner, glue dots. I could like you could use them with pop dots and pop them up a little bit, whatever. So there's those. All the little Disney princesses, are those not the best? I was really excited about those. I think those will work for a lot of cool stuff for India's pictures. And then these little snowflakes ones, they're, there's a red one behind there too that's stuck. Um, so they're just little snowflake backgrounds. And I thought these would be cute because I could put something on top of them as well, like another like little puffy sticker or something. So there's all of those. My next order is from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And I know she is like a huge deal and everyone loves her sequin mixes. And I'm just now kind of getting into the sequin stuff. And I, anyway, so she ran a really good sale. So I got a bunch of stuff from her. And she sent me this really cute little stamp set to go with it. So I was excited about that as well. And she did a cute little card. Well, thank you. So these are the mixes I got. This one has like these funny little silver starburst looking ones and little Christmas trees and then little wood grain and then white and silver. These are really pretty. I think these will be perfect for all our frozen two pictures because it's got the leaves and it's got those purples and stuff. Some blue, some white, some orange. Those are really fun. Oh, and they've got little tiny yellow flowers and those are cute. These are like white and silver and snowflakes. I love the snowflakes. And then um, these big dot guys. These are really, really great for Christmas. They've got snowflakes in them as well. And then silver, green, red, and then these kind of matte finish frosted white ones are kind of cool. Oh, and then little red, you can see that little octagon shaped red one is cool. And then this one is really fun and pretty. Um, and it's got like some copper, like matte, coppery gold, yellow, like a pale pink, blue, like a mint green, like kind of vellum looking colored. There's all of those. 
And then last, but not least, Freckled Fawn. Um, so I got these three washi tapes. These are like little labels. They would be perfect, especially if you just cut them. You could use them for like dates or whatever. Um, that one is um, like a tape measure. And then the other one I got is this one. And I already have this roll like previously. It is my absolute favorite. And actually, I think I got this one from Hobby Lobby, which is weird. They're a little bit different, just slightly. This is a little more green. But anyways, so um, this is my absolute favorite and Hobby Lobby doesn't sell it anymore. And I've always thought I needed to get another roll of it because literally <laughs> this is always the first one I go to. Um, and then when I saw it on Freckled Fawn, it was only a dollar, I think, or maybe two dollars. So I went ahead and bought it. And then I thought that one is kind of similar. It's just got a nice texture, but something that can kind of go with everything. And it's, I love that color. So there are those. Oh, not this one. Um, and then I got these little letter stickers, just little tile alphas in a, it's like a nice dark teal almost navy and then these little yellow puffy stickers I got two sets just because they I think they were only a dollar or two dollars so I got one hand got two I wasn't sure how big they were I kind of thought they were going to be bigger but these are kind of cool they're super super skinny I'm curious to see how well they stick so those will be fun to try anyway so that is the rest of everything I got you already saw all my Felicity Jane stuff and all of that so that's about it so thank you guys so much for watching Please hit like if you like this video and leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I will be back tomorrow with another video. It'll probably be a process video instead of another video like this. So thank you guys. Have a wonderful day and happy scrapping. Bye.